Welcome back. In this session, we are going to create a Docker file from scratch and run a container out of it. Yes, as I have said in the previous session, we are going to do our first Docker project lab. So in this session, you are going to understand a complete developer workflow from the ground. So we will take a simple Node.js application, then we will turn this into a Docker image. So we are going to build a Docker image for this Node.js application. Then we are going to, okay, from this uh, Docker file, we are going to build the image, then we will run the container, we will inspect it, and also we will understand how to manage the container with the different Docker command. And this is what we do as a DevOps engineer. So there is a prerequisite. So you have to have a Ubuntu virtual machine with public IP and port 22 and 3000 need to be open. So this Ubuntu virtual machine could be anywhere, maybe you're uh, from AWS or from Azure. So go ahead and get a virtual machine with Ubuntu operating system and make sure port 22 is open because we need to do SSH to install the Docker and do everything. Then again, open port from where we are going to access our application. If you have, then you are good. If not, please go ahead and do that, then follow along. I have already did this first step and here you see I have a virtual machine and I have already did SSH, you see here, okay? And port 3000 is also open. Next, what we need to do, we need to install the Docker here. So click this link and you will go here. Again, this is on my GitHub repository, demo, Docker demo, and this is the first link, install Docker. We are going to follow this and install the Docker because we know Docker is needed to run a Docker container, right? So this is prerequisite. So I should not be doing this in all upcoming labs. So in upcoming labs, you should have to have this Docker installed, okay? But this is first lab, so I'm doing this in front of you. So you also get familiar. And again, when I'm doing multiple time, you will get confidence. Now, after that, we need to add this uh, GPZ key. So let me add this and then add this repository. Now you see there's some longer steps in this because we are trying to run Docker as a in your production, right? So we have to make sure everything we are doing as a standard. So follow this and once it will turn, it will take some time because Docker installation takes some time. Then we'll check the Docker version. Then we will, again, we need to start and enable it. So whenever these virtual machines restart, stop, our Docker will be started. Now check the version, perfect. Now we'll start it and enable it. It must be running, no issues. Yes, now we have started and enable it. And then we can check the Docker status and it must be running. We see here, let me close this. Now we can run the Docker, uh, run hello world, but it's not going to run, we know, because we need to add the current user in the Docker group. Let me do that. And then we need to log out and log back, right, using this command and now all set. Now we can go ahead and run this, it will work, no problem, okay? So I'm not going to do that. So let's go back here, now all set. 